I've, I've been on your recently talking about airlines. And I think this is still a really good play right now because you're seeing those really increased demand towards travel that's going to happen this summer. And even just this week alone, your airlines really started to bounce on the fact that they expect their earnings to go up and demand to be higher than they expect in the first place. But that bounce is still well below where they were previously. And Delta, I like it. It just generally was one of the strongest balance sheets pre-COVID, and that still is the case now. And interestingly enough, they're actually showing that their revenue per seat this March is going to be about the same what it was in 2019 in March, pre-COVID levels. And that's happening the same time that inflation is now at 40-year highs. So the idea that consumers aren't going to be spending on money on travel because inflation's kicking in is clearly not coming to fruition here. And it's just more of a reason of how much demand there is toward travel. And I think Delta is a really good way to play that. So I'm going to ask you about the relationship between that stock and what's happening in energy as it mm -hmm. relates to a specific name. But before I do that, you do have another travel related name, and that's Expedia. Yes, which same idea here. You're going to have this this increased demand towards travel. Um, what's happening, though, we saw this in the retail sales in February is consumers are spending. The idea is they're going to be spending money on services as opposed to goods. And so you want to be looking at travel, hospitality. Expedia is very much a beneficiary of that. And I do like a couple things about Expedia. Number one is they were actually cut their costs annually by about $950 million, which is really going to put them in a position as labor costs increase, they can absorb some of that. And they also have a collaboration with Trip.com, which is one of the largest online travel agencies in China. And the Chinese traveler could very well be about a third of the travel industry bookings in the next five years. So having some opportunities like that, even in emerging markets, I think is really optimistic on their end as well.